Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous videos, so far we covered five classical report events, initialization, add selection screen, start of selection, end of selection and top of page. Some events requires user action and some events trigger automatically when their time has been reached. Now we will move on to our next event. Our next event is end of page. If top of page event is clear, end of page event is very easy to understand. Now, similar to top of page event, end of page event also does not require any user action means we will not perform any action this event will trigger automatically when the time or situation has been reached now at what time end of page event will trigger end of page event calls when the last write statement occurs in a program for a particular page or for a page. When we have the last write statement for a page at that time end of page event will trigger. If you remember in top of page but the event top of page event will trigger when we have the first write statement for a page. In case of end of page, when we have the last write statement for a page. Now, if you remember, what is the purpose of top of page? We gave the title or header at the beginning of a new page. Means for every page, yes, we have the title or header we gave through which particular event top of page. Top of page means it is at the beginning of the page. Same thing is applicable to end of page. The purpose of end of page is to give the footer or some information at the end of page. Top of page at the beginning of a page. End of page at the end of a page. Top of page for the first right statement of a page. End of page for the last right statement of a page. Now we will go for most important point here. Whenever you are going for end of page, we need to provide the line count. Line count. Yes, in the previous video, we covered line count. What is line count? Suppose if I am saying line count 10, it means on a particular page, how many lines will be there? 10 lines will be there. And whenever, we, whenever the line increased by 10, it will automatically shift on to next page. It means on a page, we have total line count is 10. Now we will and we will go for further understanding of this because now we are covering end of page. End of page event also, yes, we require line count. Now I will add one extra thing here. Suppose I am writing 10 bracket 2. Then what is the meaning of this? Yes, on a page we have 10 lines. That is true. On a page, we have 10 lines and out of those 10 lines, two are reserved for which event? End of page. Most, most important understanding and generally every interview, every interviewer asks this question, how or what is the prerequisite for end of page? If we are writing 10 bracket 2, then what is the meaning of this? The answer is yes. Line count 10 bracket 2 means yes, total we have 10 lines on a page, but out of those 10 lines, two are reserved for what two are reserved for end of page. Or you can understand 
two are reserved for the footer or some information which you want at the end of the page. So two lines out of those 10 lines are reserved for end of page event. If I'm writing 10 bracket three, total 10 lines out of those 10 lines, uh, three lines are reserved for what? End of page. If I'm writing 10 bracket one, total 10 lines out of those 10 lines, one is reserved for end of page event. Suppose I will go for two in our current scenario. And I will write the logic for end of page event. Suppose I'm writing end of page. Suppose in the footer, we'll say at the end of every page, we will print the page now. So I will go for write statement end of page number we all know what is system variable for page number psi p a g n o this thing yes we should always always give through text symbol so I will give it created text symbol go to text element Next symbol. I will go for 006 and of page number. Suppose for the best understanding, I will write here begin of. This 001 I'm using in this 001 text symbol I'm using in top of page so that we can clearly understand the output. This is begin written, this is end written. Now here I will write text hyphen 006. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the program. So we are giving one line, what is the page? We are just printing one line as a part of end of page event. We are just printing end of page number and what is the page number. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with end of page event. Yes, it is very, very similar to, very, very similar to top of page event. Yes, similar to top of page event. This event does not require any action from our end. It will trigger automatically. And at what time it will trigger automatically when we have the last write statement for a page. See, I'm always using the word for a page because we always, always have multiple pages. So end of page always trigger for the last write statement of a page of a page. Suppose if we have 10 pages, Yes, for every page, when we have the last write statement, end of page will trigger. Same thing we, we understood in top of page also. Whenever we have the first write statement for every page, every time top of page even triggers. Yes, now what is the most, most important prerequisite, most important question from question from the interview perspective. If I'm writing line count 10 bracket 2, then what is the meaning of this total 10 lines there on the page? Out of those 10 lines, two lines are reserved for end of page event. Suppose if you see the example, it's written line count 5 bracket 2. It means total number of lines is 5 and out of those 5, Two are reserved for what end of page event. Now in the next video, we will understand everything in the debugging mode because we discussed so many times in case of event writing the logic is not important. Understanding is most, most important and we will understand in the debugging mode so that we can clearly, clearly identify how end of page event is triggering automatically. 
So that's it in this video. Thank you.